Brian here. So we are in a deluxe i20 with a customer that asked how to change the dash clocks up through here. So uh, some people might notice, some people mightn't, uh, but especially when you're upgrading from a car that didn't have a digital dash before. Anyway, over here, there is a menu button. And if you see along here, it's changing the menu. So what we want to do is keep pressing that. You're toggling at the top here. So one, menu two, menu three. We want to go into menu three. After that, then we're going to toggle using this cursor here. So upwards and downwards. So again, because this is a cluster related issue, I want to go into the cluster. So once I've basically highlighted cluster, I'm gonna push this inwards to select. So I push that inwards into cluster and it's now giving me a couple more menus. So uh, what I'm gonna do is toggle downwards this time. So keep going upwards or downwards till I see theme selection. And then over here again, I'm going to press that inwards. So press that inwards on theme selection. And what I want to do in this case is because I want to have maybe a different type of clock. So um, again, I'm going to use this button to select, but I'm going to uncheck drive mode. Now I can go theme A, theme B. To select the themes, I'm going to push that inwards to select. So this is what theme B looks like. That's what theme C looks like. That's what theme D looks like and then you're back up. Uh, if you want to link to drive mode, that's where you would, again, select, using this to select, I'd select drive mode. And then down here, there's a button called drive mode. So if I press that, I get an eco, I get a comfort and I get a sport. Yes, it's changing the clocks, but it's also changing how the car behaves. So if that was the case, if I have it on eco, the throttle position and the air conditioner, they're all gonna be a little bit more sensitive. If I have it on sport, they're gonna be more aggressive. So really what we're saying here, drive mode, yes, it changes the clocks but it also changes the actual style of driving. Whereas the one that we'd looked at over here where we were unchecking the drive mode and just selecting whatever team we wanted, that's where you want the car to remain on eco, but you want um, the dash clocks to be, be, be a different color. Anyway, hopefully that's useful. Thanks for watching.